Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today, we talk about weathering gunpla. Weathering gunpla is subjective, very, very subjective. So, this video will have a lot of subjection. First off, my book is out. Do grab a copy. I'll put the links below. The old school way of weathering is like using oils or animals. And then I use Zippo lighter fluid to thin my animal paints, which was a disaster. My, my kits ended up with broken joints and all that stuff. It's not the paints, it's the thinner. It's the medium that I use to thin those paints. Be careful with, with using lots of spirits for when weathering with animals. It will break the joints of your gun plug. Using animals is like really good because it dries slow, you could blend it. It looks realistic, it's soft, the transitions are soft and all that. Some people find weathering with acrylics a bit tricky. But in reality, you just have to use retarder if you want or glaze medium or medium. So by using mediums, you, you tend to like replicate the slow drying time of, of animals and oils. So the slow drying time will help you blend the colors better. Weathering with acrylics is easy stuff, but it's different than with animals and oils because animals and oils are really slow drying. The problem with animals and oils, they, they feel tacky even after a while. So you really have to wait before you varnish them. And if you varnish them and they're still curing, you'll end up with orange peeling and all those nasty stuff. Today we talk about my top 5 weathering paints. Weathering paints, well, that you could use to weather Gunpla. This is Shizen, my daughter's diorama. It's an HGRX. She was practicing her weathering on this diorama. You should check out her channel. I'll put the link on top. My fifth would be the Vallejo Environment Streaking Grime. Um, you could use it for streaking. It's really easy to use. Thin a bit with water for the first streak, the first line, and then use the unthin paint for, for the root of your streaking. Let those dry in between coats or in between strokes, and you'll have a really nice effect. Number four on our list, the Game Heavy Shanna. Simply because it's extra opaque. These are perfect for dry brushing and the sponge technique. So, okay, that's number four. We have a bonus paint I'll, I'll show you. So basically, this list is top six, but it's a bonus paint I'll show you at the end of this video. Number three on our list is the Mecha Color Light Steel. Mecha Colors doesn't need primer. You could actually weather this on top of the bare plastic. Adherence is pretty good and it will cure to a nice scratch resistant finish after 24 hours. So that's top 3 in our list. Fourth on our list is the Light Rust. It comes in 35 ml. Of course, you want lots of washes. So I'd go with this one for the top 5. Now for the top of our list is the black wash. I chose the Mecha Weathering Black Wash because it's more durable. It's perfect for Gunpla. Um, it doesn't need primer and let it cure for 24 hours and it's really nice and strong. But of course, varnish will do it really good too. So we chose the Mecha Weathering Black Wash. Thin the black wash and similar to the weathering effects paint, well, Actually, you could do the stippling with any of the paints once you've experimented with all the colors. 
uh, the high pigment cavalier host will, will render really nice in this technique so basically thin it down with water splash it all over the piece and get a cotton swab and dub around those surface you'll create a nice texture discoloration on the armor parts So our top one goes to the Mecha Weathering Black Wash. That's it. That's our top five. It was hard for me to narrow it down to top five. I'm, I'm thinking of doing a top nine next time. Top 11 maybe. Nominees are these paints. For our bonus paint, which I told you earlier, it's the oil stains, the Mecha Weathering oil stains. Again, since it's from the Mecha series, it's perfect for Gunpla. You could paint it over bare plastic and let it cure for 24 hours. And if you want, you could varnish, but it's really nice and durable after 24 hours. This is a highly recommended paint. I can't like put it in my top five because the, you will use it situationally so you won't use it as often as my top five you won't even use it as often as my nominees but it's a really really good paint um, especially for metallic finishes hi I'm done and I'm done <laughs> so I think we're done I hope you found the video informative again my book is now available you should grab a copy it I tried to show, I, I tried to explain all the different Vallejo paint ranges and what effects they could produce for your Mecha or Gunpla. Uh, message me if any, if you have questions where to get them, but they're available for US and Canada people. They're available at usagundamstore.com. For international orders, you have to contact myhmshop.com. I'll put the links below. So that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and watch my other videos. Saludos! Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel.